Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Europa, the princess from which the Europe got its name. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. This myth is about a beautiful girl that was abducted and then seduced by Zeus, the chief of the gods. This concept is pretty usual in the Greek mythology. The remarkable thing is that this girl gave her name to the whole continent of Europe. Her story has been particularly popular since the ancient times and has been depicted in many ancient pieces of ceramics and coins. Moreover, it touched the painters of Renaissance who created many impressive and inspired pictures having the myth as their theme. Nowadays, this lovely fable is depicted in the 2 euro coin of the European Union to pay tribute to the godmother of Europe. The story of Europa is interesting and the end is surprisingly good in contrast to the usual tragic endings of the Greek myths. The abduction from Zeus The name of Europa is mentioned in many contexts, most of which deal with the divine union between a young girl and Zeus. The most popular myth about Europa says that she was the daughter of Agenor, a Phoenician king and later became a wife of Zeus, the king of gods. According to the legend, Europa was the epitome of feminine beauty on earth. Zeus once saw her on the seashore of Phoenicia playing with her friends. He was so captivated by her beauty that he fell in love with her and developed a strong desire to possess her. Immediately, he took the form of a white bull and approached her. The bull looked wonderful with its snow-white body and gem-like horns. Europa looked at the extraordinary animal curiously and dared to touch and later hug him because he appeared so calm to her. Later, she was somehow motivated to climb on his back. As soon as she did so, Zeus ran to the sea and carried her all the way from Phoenicia to the island of Crete. There, he regained his human form and made it with her under an evergreen tree. This was the abduction of Europa, who later gave birth to three sons of Zeus, Minos, Radamanthus and Sarpedo. These men were known for their fairness and became the three judges of the underworld when they died. In fact, Minos founded the town of Knossos and gave his name to an entire civilization, the Minoan civilization. Zeus loved Europa so much that he showered her with three priceless gifts. The first one was a bronze man, Talos, who served as a guard to her. He was a bronze giant that the Argonauts met and killed in their attempt to show on Crete. The second was a dog, Lelaps, which could hunt anything she wanted. The last one was a javelin that had the power to hit the target, whatever it was. Europa was later married to one of the kings of Crete, Asterius, who adopted her sons and made her the first queen of Crete, searching for Europa. In the meanwhile, her father Agenor had ordered her brothers to cross the whole world and not to return if they hadn't found his precious daughter. Europa had four brothers. Kilix, her eldest brother, was searching for a long time but with no success. He ended up in a region in Asia Minor, which he named Kikilia after him and became a king there. Thassos eventually landed on the island of Thassos, also gave it his name and reigned there. Phoenix went to Africa. Cadmus, the youngest and most beloved brother of Europa, asked the oracle of Delphi what to do. The priests of the oracle told him not to worry about his sister because she was safe. They also told him to go to Voetia, a region to the north of Athens, and found a town there, which would become rich and powerful in the years to come. Indeed, Cadmus founded a town in Voetia to which he gave his name, Cadmia. Later on, this town changed its name and was called Thebes. The End it is said that when Europa died, Zeus transformed her into a star complex and he himself took again the shape of the white bull to merge in the complex. The Taurus constellation is believed to be the form of Zeus. Today, the name Europa has been given to one of Jupiter's six moons and in fact, this moon is very special as it is believed to have water on its surface. Let us finish with the following saying. Waste no fresh tears over old griefs. Every this. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.